Hey everybody, I'm PJ from Princess Craft in Texas. I have a unique opportunity today to show you the Micromax. Now we're at an outdoor show here, but this Micromax is made by Little Guy and there is so many great ways to set up the inside. It's 16 feet long, it weighs less than 2,000 pounds, plenty of sleeping in here, and some models even have a toilet. Just such a great unit. Let's get started inside. Now remember, if you have specific details in this camper that you like, details, options, features, they can always change. So be sure to check it out at the dealership. All right, let's get started inside. Yeah, the trailer looks small from the outside, but it doesn't feel cramped in here, that's for sure. There is a dinette on one side, another small seating area here, the kitchen in between. Really amazing for what you might expect. The height here is five foot nine, power fan right here in the ceiling. And I'm gonna start by showing you just this front seating area. You know, they could have built this so simply, just put a few boxes in here, a table, some seating, but there's really some hidden gems here. This is 26 inches wide and 76 inches long. So you can fold this table down and make a sleeping area if you needed that. The table is a lagoon table. Now what that means is that you can adjust it taller, lower, and it moves around wherever you need it to go. You can adjust those handles, get it out of the way, put it in the middle, take it out completely. If you take this table out completely, you have two open seats right here, very comfortable. That's a great way to do it if you're gonna leave the back of the camper as a bed permanently. You know, some folks just like the ease of that. Then this can be any kind of space that you need. So let's get this table back out of the way for a second. Now it adjusts up and down with these handles. And as I said, you can remove it completely and it's very easy. The table comes off drops down on these little pads here, it Velcros into place, the cushions scoot over, and that's how you make the sleeping area. I don't want you to miss this cool little feature underneath the table. So down here, you'll see there's two cup holders. So if you didn't have the table here, they're super handy. And even if you did, you push it out into the aisleway, you've got nice cup holders down there that light up. That's right, the switch right here lights them up. The charging center has the two USBs and a 12 volt plug in, and of course a 110 plug next to that. That way you could plug in your computer, charge your phone, anything you need to do right here on this table. Just love the conveniences in this trailer. Whenever you're looking at a small camper, isn't the first thing you think about, is there enough storage? Really impressed with what they've done here. The drawer might be a little inconvenient if you're just pulling it out under your feet, but let me show you what they've done. You pull this straight out, and then the drawer pulls out from there. Easy access. I really love those small touches that make storing things and getting to what you need really simple. Just push it back into place, slide that drawer back in, and there you go. Under the other seat is a drawer as well. Now the way it works, you just pull it straight out, and there is a slide at the top that you can slide forward and back to get to the bottom layer of it. Just makes a really deep drawer, extremely convenient. You get to have several different layers there. I wanna show you the configuration also with the cassette toilet in the front. Now, this is a great configuration because you do lose one of your seats, but you gain this cassette toilet and of course a countertop that you could use as well when you're not using it. Flip up the top, and then this is magnetically held together. Give it a good pull, the sides open up, and of course the toilet swivels. Little storage right here in the back for your toiletries, anything extra that you need. I think I might be inclined to even put a mirror on this wall, you know, if I had this configuration. Anyway, great feature, just fold this right back up, and Fold that over and you have a countertop. I don't know, great feature, don't you think? The kitchen on the far side has flat top all the way across. Now, of course, this is the stove and the sink, 
but the way they have it laid out, if you are not using either of those, you can use this as countertop all day long. The high arc faucet, really convenient, and of course it has this stylish sprayer on the end, single handle. The sink is about six inches deep and it has the ABS cover on it. Of course, you can use this as a cutting board or simply leave it in place. And that's nice countertop. Next to that, the glass top stove. Nice two burner right here with the sparker in the middle. No need to get a match. I really like this stove in particular because it does have the iron grid on the top. So the piece that you pull out and clean right here is an actual iron grid. Easy to use a wire brush, clean it if you happen to spill a lot on it, and it fits right back in there. Once you snap it back into place, if you wanna close this lid, be sure to lift it up, pull it forward. And then, again, you use it as a countertop. Looking up, you've got storage right here, a nice rounded cupboard. Now it does have the lip, it's kind of an inset. So a good space up there for storage. Let's talk about the windows. You know, I love these acrylic windows. They're so easy to use. Just lift up the handles and push the window out and the entire window opens. Now, if you just want a little bit of breeze like that, you can tighten it up right here and leave your window at that location. If you would like it to open completely, you can do that as well. You set it at the height you want that window to open. One more thing, you've got these little latches at the bottom and when you're bringing this in, you can actually snap that handle in the middle. Now that leaves a little bit of airflow here but still locks your window into place. Be sure that you don't go down the road that way though because that air can come up through that window and either remove your window or damage it. So be sure that latch is always completely on the inside when you're closing it to travel. It's also a good idea to open the screens and the blackout shade completely when you're traveling so they don't have any movement going down the road. Now the screen comes down from the top. You have a blackout shade that comes up from the bottom and you can see that you could do it halfway. Screen at the top, blackout at the bottom, that gives you a little privacy and still some airflow. Really, these are my favorite windows in the entire industry because they make the trailer feel very open and they're so versatile. Not only that, they're dual pane. So it keeps the heat out on the summer and the cold out in the winter. It just doesn't get any better in my opinion. All right, let's look at the storage underneath. You do have a cupboard here under the sink. Now this looks like a drawer, but it is actually access to wiring. It pops open like that. And that is strictly for maintenance down here. Let's take a look at the refrigerator. There are two shelves on the wall here, and then you've got a couple of different levels of space in the refrigerator and a pull down freezer. You may need that ice, so you've got space in there for that. All right, let's move on. You step up into the bed area and you step up into the dinette. This is a nice ABS molded flooring right here. So on a muddy day, that could be really useful. Inside the door, all of the convenience is right here. This is gonna be your furnace, but you know what? They did such a great job making things convenient. You do have a furnace switch right down here on your control panel. Just flip it on that furnace can come on once it's set at the top. Really nice. Air conditioner right here. Now that air conditioner is in the rear of the trailer underneath the seating, which also can be the bed. And again, a switch that not only controls turning on the air conditioner, but turning on the fan that you'll want to vent the back of the air conditioner. And that's right here on the front of the wall. Next to that is the charge controller. You notice it's blinking because this trailer doesn't have a battery on it, so it's searching for a battery. But once you have the battery on there, that blinking won't be happening. There's a 100 watt solar panel on the roof of this trailer. This charge controller is gonna control that. The reason it's blinking is there's no battery on this trailer right now. Once it gets a battery, that solar panel will automatically keep that charged. 
microwave right here. I really kind of love that it's here, but out of the way. This storage space underneath the microwave could be so convenient for a lot of things because you can reach it from every side. All three sides have openings cut out. Now you may have noticed there is a switch in the back of this compartment, and that's because you may want to take the TV from inside to the outside. And there is already a bracket out there. Just connect it up and push the button, and that moves the signal from inside to outside. Super to do. Really nice that that's built in. Now let's keep going. Underneath, you've got the stereo. Of course, it's Bluetooth. It does have some USBs on the front, the HDMI connection. And here's your monitor panel. Now it's going to show you how much power is in your battery, but it's also going to show you the level in your fresh and your gray tank. That's right. This has a 12 and a half gallon fresh water tank and an eight and a half gallon gray tank. You do have interior and exterior lights right here, the gas and electric water heater switches and water pump, of course, at the top. There's the switch I mentioned earlier for the furnace and at the end some ambient lighting which is right here in this nice compartment below this is going to be the converter so it is just the breakers and fuses the converter is going to convert the shore power to 12 volt to run almost everything in the camper except your ac and your microwave so great space right here and if you notice underneath one more cutout for just a little bit more storage space all right Nice and compact, but really very well designed, so you don't feel cramped. The rear of the trailer has the dinette that also converts to the bed. So I want to show you the storage underneath first. You've got a compartment right here. Now it's not huge, but it's probably 10 inches by 10 inches. So enough space there for a few things. There is a 110 plug right next to that underneath the seating. Now that's on the driver's side. If you're looking for a plug on the passenger side, there's also a 110 plug and a charging port with the two USBs. So great that they thought of plugs on both sides. Again, a lagoon table. So you've got two lagoon tables in this trailer and so it can swivel any place that you need it to be. This is a good place to show you the air conditioner underneath. Now remember the switch is right here to turn it on and off and then a remote control right up there to adjust it. That AC, it's going to be a 5,000 BTU unit. And you know, it may not sound like a lot, but in this space, it would be great, even in extreme heat. So that is a great feature. You do have a 16,000 BTU furnace as well. This place could be so toasty, even in freezing weather. Let's look a little further in here. Now this table is going to move around and go any place you want it to go. It can slide back out of the way. It can swivel out this way. Great for playing games. Easily sits four people here, maybe even six adults. It's really a lot of space. Now, obvious problem you're going to have is scooting back. This top does slant down. So taller people need to be on this end. If you've got people taller than me, you maybe only need to sit four people here, but you've still got two in the front. So six adults in a trailer this size, well, it's pretty incredible. This table can also come out. Uh, you do have a pole on one side, which is going to make that side probably a little more enticing most of the time. The TV is set up there and it is on a swivel, so you can pull it out and point it whichever direction you need it to go. And one more thing I want to point out in this area is the windows. You've got windows on both sides. The power fan in the ceiling, it's going to give you a great cross breeze because with that 100 watt solar panel, you know, you could easily camp for the weekend without plugging in. This is such a great layout. Before we move outside, I want to show you some of the ways you can configure the interior because there's a lot of options here. Maybe you haven't thought of them all. I know I hadn't until I came to this show and I was able to see them. So this is a standard dinette seating. A lot of folks will want this to be a permanent bed. This folds down. You do have slats that come out of the back. This is going to set up to be a 76 by 60 inch bed. Now, 
Standard is 80 by 60 for a queen, but 76, that's pretty close, especially for a trailer this size. You can also set this up to be twin beds. That's an unusual setting, but you know, maybe you'd be a little more comfortable that way. You've got a little space in between. The front, it can always make a nice bed as well. Last but not least, there's more storage at the back. So check it out back here. You can see the little finger holes. That is gonna open up a really nice space along the back. It's about 10 inches deep. The top does follow the curve of the back of the trailer, but really a nice space for a lot of storage in the back. And it goes all the way across with lights on both ends. I love that. You've got to use every space in a trailer this size in a very smart way. And Little Guy has done just that. So on the outside, I love being at a show because all the notes are right here on the side of the trailer. It's really handy for me. If you'd like to see all the details, they'll be down below in the description. So check it out there. But what this tells me is that there is an exterior height that goes from six foot, 10 and a half inches to seven foot, two and a half inches. Could this fit in your garage? Well, it's possible that it could. The higher height, the four inches, comes from the Rough Rider package. That's a bit of an off-road package. It's going to have a little heavier tire on it and it's gonna raise the trailer four inches. If you would like a lower height, just skip the Rough Rider package. Now, you'll also see the dry weight is 1825 to 1960. That is the same thing a little bit heavier when you go with the Rough Rider package and all the options. So let me show you a few of those options. One of them is the outside grill. You can see the bracket is here and it lifts off. You can use this uh, sitting on a tabletop if you wanted, but sometimes it's really nice to hang it on the side and then you can hook the propane into the gas port that's down below right there. Makes it very easy to cook outside. Remember I told you about putting the television outside as well? Here's the bracket for that. And you, the mount is already on the back of the TV. You just drop it into place. You'll plug it in over here with the HDMI port and up here with the standard connection. You do have a bracket down at the bottom if you wanted to put a lagoon table out here as well. They just slide right onto the bracket and tighten it up at whatever height that you need. Let's keep going. Right behind this grill, you'll see the furnace port. That is your furnace just venting right here underneath. And this is gonna be the storage from the rear. If you look in here, you've got about two feet deep on this. There is a small part that goes even further, but it isn't a pass-through storage. Still a really nice outside storage space right here. Along the back, you will see that there is a backup camera. Now that is an option on this trailer. And you can see the solar panel, 100 watt solar right on the top. Right down below, the hitch on the back. You know, if you want to take your bicycles with you, great place. It has 150 pounds of weight you can put right here on the back. Stabilizer jacks on all four corners. On this side, the standard shore cord cable TV connection and right above here there is the fill for that 12 and a half gallon fresh water tank and the city water hookup this is the six gallon water heater it is gas electric and underneath the bed right here in the back and an outside shower the venting for the refrigerator is right in front of the wheel and underneath the standard sewer hookup for your gray and your black tank. Let's take a look at the compartment on the front. They have done a nice job of this. The diamond plate cover on the front, this is gonna house not only the battery, but the propane tank as well. I really like the way it flips towards the front. Now that may seem a little strange to you, but that allows you to have this nice curve and no reason for this lid to hit the window. So great design. Also a little bit of extra storage space in there for you. The jack on the front, and we're back around to where the door is. One of the things I didn't point out yet is gonna be that there is a nice open window on this door. 
complete with the screens and the blackout shade, just like the rest of the trailer, and a magnetic catch. I'm really a fan of these because the door just stops when you open it. And it's not gonna move in the wind, but you don't have to reach down and unlatch it. Great feature. On the inside of the door, you can see the screen and the blackout shade. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this unique trailer. It's small, it's convenient, I don't know. It's got a lot of special features. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm PJ from Princess Craft RV, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>